Jackson, we are still very much in the thick of this storm. We are four hours after high tide and we'll give you a view of Salisbury Beach right now. Of course, beach erosion, a huge concern in this area and homeowners who we spoke to believe this storm has done damage. Relentless winds drove waves into the dunes of Salisbury Beach, further eroding this already vulnerable spot. This is just a substantial amount of sand that's all from the dune and now it's in the street. John Flanagan was one of several oceanfront homeowners who paid more than half a million dollars to reinforce the beach with sand in February. He chipped in $6,000. You go take a look up there, there's not much of it left, if anything. How bad do you think this storm is? As bad as it gets. And, uh, the state, the town of Salisbury have to step in and do something because all these houses are going to be gone. Rich Durkin watched as sea foam swirled around his neighbor's homes. Is this common in storms? No, no I, I, I don't I don't really know what it is. It piled up to be feet deep in spots. Plows dropped their blades to push it out of the road. You know, every now and then you get a little sea foam. foam. This is uh, unbelievable. At high tide, police shut down streets leading to the shore. I'm afraid to go over and look at the ero erosion that happened during this storm. I know it's going to be bad. Ron Gilmet has lived here for 52 years and recently has noticed damaging storms like this one are much more frequent. And the dunes would repair themselves. Uh, now they're happening two and three storms every year and uh, the dunes just not having an opportunity to repair themselves so it's uh, it's wild so low tide is low tide is coming up around 2:40 this afternoon but still we've seen the water come right up to the dune here some homeowners have not even had the chance to come out and see how bad the damage is homeowners here are planning on holding a meeting tomorrow morning at 9:30 on plum island they want to get together and discuss. They all believe that the state and the town should be chipping in to do more, although no one seems to have an, an answer exactly on how to protect these homes from future storms. We're live along Salisbury Beach. Jennifer Egan, WCBB, New Center 5.